Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be doing a battery test on the brand new S Pen for the Galaxy Note 9. Now, if you don't know already, there's actually a very small battery inside of this small S Pen that is Bluetooth over to the Galaxy Note 9, which gives you some Bluetooth remote functions. Now, some of those functions include either opening up the camera by doing a press and hold, or you can actually change any application to open when you do the press and hold. Or if you are inside the camera, if you click it two times, it'll switch the camera. Click it once, it'll take your picture or you can even use it inside your gallery to progress to the next image or the previous image. Also, same thing with the PowerPoint. You can go to the next slide, the previous slide. If you're watching YouTube, you can play, pause the video, go to the next video, music, play, pause the song, go to the next song. So you kind of get a point. It's a very basic and simple Bluetooth remote function, but you can definitely get a lot of use out of it from your day-to-day -day use. So far, Samsung has stated that the battery life of the S Pen is up to 30 minutes or up to 200 clicks. Now, what they mean by that time frame and by the clicks is that you're actively using this button to speak with your device. So either you're launching a camera, taking a picture, or you're using it to play pause music or change the song, or you're giving a PowerPoint. Now, if you're giving a PowerPoint and you're using this thing and it's about 25 to 30 minutes in and you've been clicking this button every couple minutes you definitely want to plug this one back into the device there's a super capacitor in there that can charge the s pen all the way up to 40 seconds now what we're going to do in this video is i'm going to do the test of 200 clicks and i'm actually going to try to kill this s pen battery as fast as i can and i'll guarantee you it's a lot less than 30 minutes because they stated the word or it'll last you 30 minutes if you're actively using the button pretty much for a powerpoint or 200 clicks. So I'm going to go and simultaneously keep on clicking this button. I'm probably going to launch the camera. I'm going to switch the camera from the front and the back. I'm also just going to just keep on clicking it because every time I click it, you'll notice that my air command where the S Pen is showing will actually kind of bounce, letting you know that you are interfering basically um, in activating the Bluetooth function from the S Pen over to the phone. So first off, here we are inside the screen talking about the S Pen remote. Now what I want to do is show you how I got to that screen. If you pull down the notifications panel twice, you you click and hold on that S Pen remote. This is where it'll show you your battery life. So we will be looking at this screen for pretty much the majority of this video. I'll place up a timer. We're gonna see how long it takes to get this thing all the way down to zero. Then we will test it to see actually how long it takes to recharge it back up to 100%. And I will tell you, once this thing gets disconnected, during that time of disconnection and it's trying to reestablish its Bluetooth connection, it is still charging it at that moment in time. And you'll see it's actually less than 40 seconds. So now let's actually go through it. It. I'm gonna start clicking this and we're gonna see how long it takes to drain it from 100 to zero. And so here what you are able to notice is the bouncing or the bumping of that little circle. That is the S Pen letting you know, hey, you can open me up for the air command. Now I'm going through, I keep on clicking and clicking and clicking. You can actually see that 10% has already gone down. So now let's see if I was to launch the camera because I wanna use maybe a little bit more of the battery inside the S Pen. So I'm gonna press and hold. It's gonna launch the camera. I'm gonna do a double click, double click. Let's go for another double click, double click. Let's take a picture. Let's take another picture. Here comes another picture. Now I'm gonna get out of this. We're gonna actually go right back inside of the S Pen remote. We're gonna go back inside. I'm gonna keep on clicking it. You can see that we are now at 80%. And so, Probably the speed of you clicking on this little uh, S Pen button, you might be able to maybe kill it faster, um, but you can see it's actually already down to 60%. That means I've probably clicked this thing easily 100 times. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch the camera again. I'm also going to change the camera. I wanna make sure that not only am I just clicking it, um, which is still speaking with the device, I want it to also do some of its functions. And so now what we'll do is we'll take a picture. We'll probably take another picture. We'll get out of this. Let's actually pop right back over into this S Pen remote. So now we're right back down over into 40% now. I'm still clicking it. You can still see it as bouncing. You can hopefully see that my thumb is actually still moving. Um, and again, you know, it's, if you're doing a PowerPoint and you're going through all these slides super fast, obviously uh, you're not gonna have a good presentation. Uh, here we are, we're at 20% already. I believe we're about a minute and a half into clicking on this button. Um, and so you could probably kill this thing within about two minutes if you keep on clicking. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and hold. I'm gonna try to launch the camera. And so here we are, we're basically down to the 1%. I'm trying to switch all these cameras, waiting for it to pretty much not, not respond back. And so this thing should be actually dying here actually pretty quick. So I'm gonna try to take another picture. Let's take another picture. And right now, it's almost slowly not really connecting um, or responsive. Uh, it is all the way down to 1%. We're about two minutes in. And 
I don't think I have any more function. And now we are 100% disconnected. So it took a little over two minutes to kill this S Pen. Now, what we're gonna do here is we will place this right back over to the phone. Sorry, I paused there for a second. I stopped my stopwatch over here. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna place this inside the phone. Now it's going to reconnect. I'm gonna start my timer over here. I also have a timer on uh, YouTube as well. Now we're gonna see how long it takes to connect, which right now it's already been six seconds. It's still connecting, still connecting. It's up to 10 seconds. And then we're gonna see, you know, is it gonna say 100% already for charging? Because I know every time I've ever charged this, it's always been less than 40 seconds. And this entire video here is in full time video. There's no pauses, no fast forwards, nothing else. Right here, it says it's available, it's been connected. It did that about maybe 15 seconds in, 20 seconds in, and it's already at 100%. So this thing has not even been plugged in for 40 seconds yet. I will keep it in there for the full entire 40 seconds, which should be right about now. Now the findings of the simple discharge and recharge test of the S Pen for the Galaxy Note 9, we found out that you are able to in fact kill the battery of the S Pen within about two or three minutes, but it takes you having to continuously click this button for about 200 to 250 clicks as fast as you can. Now on a normal day-to-day -day basis, I don't really see anybody doing that unless if you're curious like me to see how long it takes to actually kill the battery, but if you will be playing with anything on the S Pen, it'll be the normal clicker on the very end, which is very similar to a pen. Now also we found out with recharging of the S Pen, and reconnecting once it completely dies. Once you place this inside the phone, it'll reconnect automatically through Bluetooth within about 15 seconds. And then an additional five to 10 seconds after that, this thing will be fully charged. So the 40 seconds that Samsung has stated, even though they did say the words up to 40 seconds, so technically they're still correct. Um, but I would say that it takes about 25 seconds to recharge this thing from zero to 100%. And that also includes reconnecting with the device automatically. And now for the normal everyday usage of the S Pen button using the Bluetooth remote functions, I do see this thing lasting you easily 30 minutes. So if you're doing a PowerPoint presentation and you're looking at each slide for maybe a couple minutes, that means that every couple minutes you're clicking this button, which is not taking a lot of its battery, but it is also sitting outside the device as well. So you'll easily be able to get 30 minutes with that one, but all you'd have to remember is that within maybe about 25, 30 minutes, go back to your device, place it right back over inside of it. It doesn't have to go all the way in to do the little click. You can feel the vibration that it was pretty much reestablishing the connection with the device. You're able to put it in the phone, ask the audience a question, and by the time somebody actually asks one, once you take this thing right back out, you're already sitting at 100%. So on a normal day-to-day -day basis, the battery life of a very small S Pen is actually very good. If, it, if this thing is able to last you 30 to 40 minutes on a normal day-to-day -day basis, and you're using the functions, I think that's fantastic um, with the recharge rate being about 25 seconds. So at the end of the day, 25 seconds will give you maybe 30, 35 minutes of usage with a Bluetooth remote function and the normal S Pen usage. I think that's pretty much a win-win in a very good first generation Bluetooth S Pen. Outside of that, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, hit that little red button on the very bottom left-hand side. You can subscribe that way. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.